Conventional method of permanent pacing in complete ad block involves pacing from the right ventricular apex. Though it is easy to achieve, there is a potential risk of pacing induced cardiomyopathy in the long run. That is because of left ventricular dyssynchrony. Normal sequence of activation of the left ventricle is lost. Septum is activated first and left ventricular lateral wall later. Some of those with right ventricular apical pacing may need an upgrade to cardiac resynchronization therapy. There is also an enhanced chance for heart failure hospitalization and mortality. Conduction system pacing is a pacing strategy to avoid these potential downsides of right ventricular pacing. Conduction system pacing aims to capture the conduction system early in its course in the ventricles. A recent randomized control trial published in the Journal of American College of Cardiology, C-SPACE, compared these two modalities of pacing in 202 consecutive patients with atrioventricular block without indication for cardiac resynchronization therapy. Please note that those with heart failure would have been considered for CRT rather than simple cardiac pacing. The composite and point of the study included pacing induced cardiomyopathy, upgrade to biventricular CRT, heart failure hospitalization and all cause mortality. Conduction system pacing was performed by cardiac electrophysiologists with experience of at least 20 previous successful implantations. Options were is bundle pacing, left bundle branch area pacing and left ventricular septal pacing. Aim was to achieve an optimal paced ECG morphology with pacing threshold less than 2 volts at 1 millisecond pulse width. Specialized pacing leads and delivery sheath was used for conduction system pacing. The exact site to be tried first was left to the operator's decision.